That is freaking awesome. Hi guys, I've had a few questions on how to do the 1.1 update for the Vanquish 540. So basically in your Google search or Safari, type in Vanquish 540 update and you can see it there from the MindLab website. So click on that. Takes you to MindLab website. Scroll down and you can read what's new. Uh, basically for the Vanquish 540, you get the iron volume control, which has 10 settings, uh, some general improvements, and um, I think you end up with a low battery alert. As you can see in here, um, you can see your system requirements. Oh micro USB cable so I have used a cable of an old Android phone and uh, a heads up the cable that comes with your Vanquish 540 or Pro Pack for your battery that ha does have a micro low profile USB but it is power only so make sure that your cables are data transfer and power. Keep scrolling down, click on that. And then that downloads, you can see that down here. Open that up there. And it comes up here. So at this stage here, you go to your machine, you have your coil on, batteries are in, and make sure your batteries are fully charged. And you can just see up in the slot here, just above this battery, is your port. So you plug your USB in there, take the other end of your USB and plug it into your laptop. It will search on this point here and show the update and all you do is click install now as soon as you plug that usb in you'll hear your vanquish turn on you just leave it and install the update it takes about a minute and a half and um, then it will tell you that you're done and you can just close turn your machine off and you're good to go Hi guys, so I've had a few questions on how to do the uh, MindLab 1.1 update for the Vanquish 540 series. So I've just uh, shown you how to actually download and do the update. And now I just want to show you the iron volume settings. So you have 10, so you press the horseshoe and hold. When you get that FE, that means you're in the iron volume so that's full we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then back up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay that's full so i just want to show you on uh, i've got a new zealand one cent coin down here on the ground and a hinge so we'll just have a look at those. Okay, so we've got our little New Zealand one cent coin here and this rusty old hinge. All right. Okay, we'll run that over. 
can see that really loud busting that one cent coin. So we'll turn that volume down. And now that's the lowest it can be. Now we're picking up that one cent coin a little bit clearer. Now while we're doing this, I just want to show you how the iron can actually mask the coin as well. Okay, so I've turned 90 degrees to that target that we're picking up now, and I just want to show you how the iron masks the coin at different angles. Full iron volume. So we have nothing, we do not pick up that one cent piece whatsoever. But if I turn to a slight angle, I'll start to gather it. Hear that? So that's when you turn that iron volume right down. And then get it. Nice clear 21 signal. Iron's still there, but very, very low, so it doesn't disturb you. Okay.